Once a bride has found her perfect dress, hours of preparation and planning are required before any luxury wedding can take place. But most privileged brides don't do this for themselves. They can pay someone else to do it for them. If it's physically possible, we'll make it happen. It might come at a cost. Bruce Russell is one of the most sought after luxury wedding planners in London. So this is the Lancaster Ballroom. Yeah, it's lovely. Today, he is meeting one of Caroline's wealthy clients at the iconic Savoy Hotel, a preferred in, wedding venue of choice for the rich and famous. If you've got the money and you've got the budget to spend, and if you want to spend a million pounds, why not spend it on a wedding? It is the most magical day. We can do up to about 320 for a dinner dance. We'd have the doorman on the door to greet guests as they arrive, mm -hmm. staff directing guests as they're coming up and down the stairs. You've got sort of roses, you have peonies, you've got stalks in here, hydrangeas. You've got a mix of different flowers in there that mm. just really make it quite fluffy and romantic. Greek bride Irina wants to throw a lavish and luxurious London wedding for her 350 guests. But to have that wedding here at the Savoy will cost a minimum of 70,000 pounds. Personally, I, I like that sort of glamorous um, and luxurious feel. Um, it's a special day. I think this is one of the best venues that we've seen, definitely. It's just absolutely lovely. I think it ticks a lot of the boxes. Irina has already bought her silk duchess satin gown, embellished with over 150,000 crystals. That's one of the first things I've sorted out is my dress. I love it. I can't wait now. It's, um, it's going to be a long, long wait. I've got to wait a whole year, but um, it, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing the sort of finished um, dress and trying it on and uh, being able to enjoy it. As the tour continues, the extravagances keep on coming with a look at where the happy couple could spend their wedding night. Welcome to the Royal Beautiful, Suite. Beautiful, yeah. At over 3,500 square feet, the Royal Suite measures almost four times the size of the average UK home. The view's amazing. It's it is. Lovely. I think what gives the Savoy its, its sort of charm yeah. is the fact that it is on the River Thames. It's got the most amazing views mm. from, you know, Westminster to Canary Wharf, really. Lovely feature. Relax there the night before in the bath. It's definitely made for royalty. Okay. It's a bath with a view, isn't it? It is, if you leave the doors <laughs> yeah. open. Typically, the Rose Suite would, would go for about 10,000 per night. Value for money? Definitely. It's the Savoy. Where else can you, where else can you hire the entire facade of the fifth floor uh, overlooking the Thames? Absolutely stunning. It comes with its own butler. It's my mission to make sure that you have the absolutely <laughs> perfect day. It, it ticks a lot of boxes, definitely. Well, let me walk you out. Yeah, thanks very much. My pleasure. Do your services come at a price? Uh, they do, as, as with anything else. I, I would, you know, without putting myself in a box, it's usually anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of an overall budget, and weddings normally start from 150, 200,000 and up in terms of an overall spend. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of where I stand. Couples in Britain spend an average of 21,000 pounds on their big day. But in the elite circles of the rich, this kind of budget will barely cover the dress. And when the dresses are this expensive, you need to make them from the finest fabrics in the world that can cost up to £2,000 a metre. That is absolutely fabulous. These are what I call a work of art in their own right. They are artists that are creating these. Would you like to see in your collection? Absolutely. This is very pretty, don't you think? Oh, wow. This is fabulous for the summer. Uh, lace uh, that we make is one of the most luxurious fabrics that exists in the world. So, yes, uh, it has its own price. With their unlimited price tag, Caroline's dresses attract the rich, the royal and the famous who travel from around the world to her exclusive Knightsbridge boutique. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I think it blends very well with the skirt. It's incredible, the clients that we have. They come from all over the world. We deal with clients sometimes, and um, the family don't deal with money. We, we, we have to deal with their lawyers to, to be paid and things like that. So, you know, it's on a different scale. 29-year-old Iranian bride-to-be Giza 
is getting married at a lavish wedding in Turkey at the end of the summer. Today, she's traveled to Caroline's shop just to try on veils. The dress Caroline will create for her will be an intricate gown bejeweled with 200,000 sequins and 50,000 beads. Can you imagine it in the venue where you're getting married? Well, it goes like perfectly with the mm -hmm. place. It's yeah. like an old palace, uh -huh. an old Ottoman palace. Oh, beautiful. So it's like, yeah. So I think the big spenders come from mainly abroad because they've invested a lot of time to come over. They will fly back for fittings each time. Middle Eastern, you know, if the English bride is spending 10 grand, the Saudi Arabian client is spending 25. There's a huge difference. My fiance was very understandable. He was like, okay, I know this is the most important dress that a woman is gonna wear in their lifetime. So yeah, if you really like it and you love it, you will get it. So, but yeah, I think as usual, I got the most expensive dress in the shop. <laughs> Tell me a bit about your ring. So <laughs> this time, I told him, okay, if you wanna propose to me, don't choose the ring. I need to choose the ring. <laughs> so he knew that he doesn't have the option to choose it himself. He's like, okay, why not get something very simple? I was like, no, I don't want something very simple. I want something very blingy. <laughs> So yeah, he was like, okay. Bye. Many wealthy brides don't stop spending money once the wedding is over. Some want the memory of their big day to last a lifetime. 40-year-old newlywed Kashmir married her husband Tim six months ago at not one, but three different ceremonies in South Africa and the UK. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Today, she is having her portrait painted in her wedding dress as a gift from her new husband. What could this have been cost? Uh, well, I suppose anything from 10,000 to 70,000. 75, yeah, you know, something like this would be more at the top end because it's going to be a large painting. It's going to take a lot of time. So we'll sort of see how we get on. Does it ever surprise you that people are like, oh, yeah, that's fine, I'll pay, you know, 70 cents a pound for a portrait? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. I try not to look surprised. <laughs> okay, oh, yes, of course. But, oh, you know, incredible. But thank goodness because, um, I, you know, I can pay the mortgage next month. Caroline designed Kashmir a spectacular full lace custom fishtail gown that took over a year to make. Oh my gosh, you look lovely. Oh, that is beautiful. Was it an expensive investment? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the price of a small car. Any special jewellery for the wedding? Tim took me um, ring shopping. We tried on um, some yellow diamonds as well as plain white diamonds, yeah, and yeah. he just loved the yellow diamonds on me. Oh, so we then had this amazing magical experience of yeah. various jewellers flying rings in um, or yeah. making rings up for us to, to look at. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how exciting! Yes. Yeah. So, Did you say diamonds are a girl's best friend? Yes, they are now. <laughs> I've turned into a bit of a diamond yeah. monster. Rough idea of what it's going to look like. It look rather Spanish, actually. Like a flamenco <laughs> dancer, bit. Kashmir will now have to wait three months to see the final masterpiece when it's revealed at a private party at Caroline's Knightsbridge Boutique. So magical. Absolutely mind-blowingly magical. Three months, three sittings, and £75,000 later, newlywed Kashmir's portrait is finally finished. Have you seen the picture? I had a quick glance. Yes. Looks fantastic. She looks fabulous. Tonight, Cherie's masterpiece will be revealed at an exclusive party Caroline is throwing at her boutique. Hey, Cashman! Mm. How are you? 
How are you? Hey, Hi, you? darling. All right. Oh, you're excited by this? Yeah. Um, I think that over there might have something to do with me. That's what we're all here for today. Kashmir and her husband, Tim, took two years off work to tie the knot. And the portrait is the culmination of their marriage celebrations. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the finished article is. So I know what it's going to be, the style of it is, but how it actually portrays Kashmir, that's going to be the really interesting thing for me. Because she has such a beautiful effervescence about her, but it's how that she comes off the page, if you like, certainly off the canvas and glows towards us. So this is the unveiling of the painting, and uh, I'm really thrilled that all of you are able to be here with us tonight. One, two, three. <laughs> You in all your glory. Oh, I'm so pleased. I didn't actually believe that she'd cry so much. She's so moved. <gasps> so that is like the best reaction that any artist can have because um, you know you have so many doubts, uh, and, and a painting can almost never be finished, never be perfect. So to have that response is lovely. But how so gorgeous your face looks! I love looks. that face. Absolutely amazing. Oh. That's you. And this is a very special moment for you to see you. To me, to have something like that, and that cost you 75000 it's hanging on the wall forever, your grandchildren get it. Is it that expensive? I'm not too sure. It's going to be the best work she's ever done. Yeah, absolutely. It's the most incredible piece of art I've ever seen. And that's what people... It's better than Mona Lisa. <laughs> Thank you.